This is it. The first shipments of Pfizer's coronavirus vaccine are being loaded up right now and are heading out. The company says UPS and FedEx will ship the vaccine to hospitals, healthcare facilities, and pharmacies all across the country. According to the Health and Human Services Secretary, about 3 million doses of the vaccine will be shipped this week. The general public is expected to receive the vaccine sometime around February and March. Well, low-grade fever, fatigue, chills. Those are some of the side effects people experienced after receiving the coronavirus vaccine. Both Moderna and Pfizer's vaccine require two doses, one to prime and then one to boost. They're administered a few weeks apart, so the body mounts what experts hope is a lasting immune response. But one of the biggest concerns right now is all those side effects I just mentioned will deter people from getting their second doses of the vaccine. Doctors say mild side effects, though, may be a good sign. That means your immune response is working for you. You should feel good about that. And it shouldn't really be any difficulty coming back for that second shot, knowing that you're now in a much better position to fight off this awful virus. While Pfizer's coronavirus vaccine has been given the thumbs up by the FDA and CDC, experts say it's just too soon to let your guard down. About 70% of Americans will need to get vaccinated uh, before we potentially reach herd immunity, which is still many months away. Well, the number of hospitalizations related to COVID-19 continue to steadily increase in the Commonwealth. Right now, 1,670 people are in the hospital, and you can tell from this graph, that number has been slowly increasing since the end of November. The Department of Public Health says nearly 5,000 more people have now tested positive for coronavirus, and that brings the total number of cases in Massachusetts since the pandemic began to more than 274,000 people. Also, 47 more people have also died. These are Saturday's numbers, and that brings the total number of deaths in the state now to 11,057 since the pandemic began. And beginning today, and because of the spike in cases, Massachusetts is rolling back its reopening plan. Boston 25 News reporter Julianne Lima is live in Woburn. And Julianne, a lot of businesses, including restaurants, are no stranger to these familiar restrictions. Businesses like restaurants and hotels have new capacity limits, many of them having to roll back from 50 to 40 percent. But they're the lucky ones. Other businesses like roller rinks, laser tag and indoor performance venues have to completely shut down once again. More COVID-19 cases means more restrictions for businesses. Starting today, the entire state is rolling back from step two to step one of phase three. You become numb to the to the restrictions. You just, like I said, you just roll with it and you just get on with every day and do the best that you can. The rollback comes with new restrictions for restaurants. Starting today, patrons must wear masks at all times, even when seated at their table. Masks can be removed only when eating and drinking. There's a new maximum of six people per table with a 90-minute dining limit. Live music is also no longer allowed. We're obviously fearful that, you know, there's the greater likelihood is that we will get reduced to takeout and delivery again, which will be which will be disappointing. I feel bad for the uh, restaurant owners. They um, made a life doing this, and it's just insane right now. Other businesses, including fitness centers, retail stores, and offices, must reduce their capacity from 50 to 40 percent. Masks are also now required at all times in gyms and in workplaces, unless a person is alone in their own workspace. And while the entire state is going back a step in the reopening plan today, some people fear this could be just the beginning. The CEO of UMass Memorial Healthcare tells the Boston Globe he's expecting even more significant closures and rollbacks before the end of this year. Reporting in Woburn, I'm Julianne Lima, Boston 25 News. Julia, thank you, and stay with Boston 25 News for the very latest on the coronavirus pandemic. We're going to continue to bring you the most up-to-date information on air, online, and on the Boston 25 News app. A lot developing this 